everyone, welcome back to Alice in the Giant Bookshelf. Today's video is all about this book, When Ghosts Come Home by Wiley Cash. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books and in today's video I'm going to be talking about one of those books that I read very recently and that was the first book that I got in my Mr. B's Crime Syndicate subscription, When Ghosts Come Home by Wiley Cash. Now prior to receiving this book in book subscription I had never heard of Wiley Cash or read any of his other books. So this was my first time with this author and I did have a good time but I have some mixed feelings about this book so here's my review today and hopefully this review will help me to sort out some of those mixed feelings. When Ghosts Come Home is a book that is very much for me um, bordering the line between crime fiction and literary fiction. I think it would fall into the thriller category but equally I think that it could easily be just shelved under fiction and from what I understand from other reviews on Goodreads by people who have read Wiley Cash before I believe his other books are more fiction than crime. When Ghosts Come Home is a book that centres around three main characters I would say. Winston Barnes is a sheriff of a small town where he is up for re-election against a pretty bigoted and horrible um, younger man. Winston is an older man and he has a wife who is battling cancer. The second of the uh, sort of trio of main characters um, who we get chapters from is Colleen, Winston's daughter. And she comes back home reeling from the grief of a very recent tragic loss. Thirdly, we have Jay, who is a young boy who has been sent to live with his aunt and uncle um, after a misdemeanor in his town and he gets caught up in the terrible politics of this small town and the inherent racism in this time in the 80s which is going on throughout this book. Let's talk about what I liked about When Ghosts Come Home first. Um, I thought firstly the antagonists in this book were really really well done. Um, I absolutely hated one of the antagonists and I think that's, that's probably a sign of a good writer who knows his stuff because the, yeah, this guy was just so horrible in every way. I didn't really see any redeeming qualities to him. So yeah, he, he was definitely a very antagonistic antagonist. Secondly, I really did like the main character Winston. I would say we spend the most time with Winston out of the three and he's a fundamentally good man. Uh, there are shades of grey in his character um, and at times in this book he seems quite alone in his conflicted feelings about what is happening in his town and his sort of, you do feel his power, powerlessness to stop it, um, even as sheriff. I also felt that um, Colleen's grief was really palpable on the page and some of my favourite parts of this book were flashbacks depicting um, her relationship with her father, which actually stood out to me as just really brilliant ways of showing these characters and what their relationship has been like in the past and what it's like now and I thought those were really really well done. I also love Jay's storyline, he felt really real to me and like a um, realistic child character and this was gripping with absolutely loads of tension. I could really feel the tension throughout in this town that had been created and with what was going on in all three protagonists lives. But there were a few things I didn't like about When Ghosts Come Home. And um, the first one was Winston's wife. Now I've already mentioned that she is suffering from cancer and she just felt really flat and like a placeholder character to me which I thought was a real shame because the main characters are 
pretty well fleshed out and where they're not I felt it was compensated for by sort of time spent with them and um, time spent on showing us these sort of flashbacks uh, about their relationships um, but she just she just felt like a non-entity really. A couple of times she sort of featured in the storyline and I felt did things that were just really not very believable. Nothing major but just things that I didn't feel that a mother or a wife would necessarily do. And yeah and other than that she just felt really two-dimensional to me. She did let it down a bit for me because I did feel like an author who clearly can write characters should have actually paid a little bit more attention to getting her right. And because of that I was a little bit pulled out of the story a couple of times and I felt like it made me question a bit whether I did think the other characters were as good as I thought they were. Secondly, um, going into the plot a little bit more, so this follows Winston in the days after a mysterious plane uh, sort of crash lands at um, the airport near his house. It's discovered completely empty of people and goods but it also they find a dead body near it. The mystery element I did really like and I did really want to know the answer to the mystery but the clues that were planted and the foreshadowing of what the ending could be they were just really really obvious to me and they were actually so obvious that I assumed that that was on purpose. Uh, it created for me more of an uncomfortable suspense than I particularly enjoy. Um, I think probably there's a lot of people who would really enjoy uh, being given those signposts towards the ending. I did feel quite on edge while reading it and maybe that was the point but that was something I didn't particularly enjoy about the book. Leading on to, um, without spoilers, I did feel really really cheated by the ending. I felt like the ending was really told to us, not shown, and it was just it was a, a good ending but it was just really disappointing to me that we'd spent so much time with these characters and I felt really I did feel really invested in them and then uh, because it felt a bit rushed at the end I did feel a little bit like I'd wasted my investment in them which is a real shame. So as you can tell overall I had some really mixed feelings about When Ghosts Come Home by Wiley Cash. Overall there was some great writing by Cash. Definitely the themes in this were powerful and I also really enjoyed the sense of time. This is set in the 80s and the sense of place. I could really really picture this sort of small town America and some of the bigger issues in this book were just really quite compelling. I would try this author again but I would hope that um, his other books maybe leave me slightly more satisfied ending wise. But I do think that lovers of US crime fiction will enjoy this. I also think that lovers of historical books set in the 80s, sort of small town America type literary fiction would also potentially really enjoy this. Normally in my book review videos I like to give some other recommendations and as I've said I've not previously read any of Wiley Cash's other books so I thought I would just give you a couple of recommendations that uh, kind of came to mind uh, relating to one or more of the themes in this book. So for a combination of sort of racial tension and violence and um, a book that is is on the border as well between crime and literary I would recommend The Trees by Percival Everett. This is a book that I read last year I think it's exploring some similar themes probably in actually more of a dynamic and uh, action-packed way. Uh, I think the I think that When Ghosts Come Home is a much quieter more serious book whereas this one um, does incorporate some sort of comedic elements whereas When Ghosts Come Home is definitely very serious and dark but in terms of being both crime and literary I would say that this is a book that relates. For more of a thriller but with some of the uh, sort of southern American vibe and the 
uh, sort of theme of revisiting a hometown, um, I would recommend The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter, but I would not recommend this to anybody who doesn't enjoy like really, really dark books that have a lot of explicit violence or gore. So yeah, uh, as always, when I mention Karen Slaughter, I don't think she's for everyone. I really, really enjoy her thrillers, but this one does have some seriously dark themes. So do check trigger warnings if you think it might not be a book for you. <laughs> yes, I would recommend Karen Slaughter as an author who I think does thrillers set in small town America really, really well. So those were a couple of other recommendations that are sort of a little bit thematically linked. And do check out When Ghosts Come Home if you are a fan of any of the things that I've mentioned. And yeah, I, I did enjoy this sort of dark, edgy, small town, thrillery, literary book. And I think there's definitely a lot of readers that will really, really enjoy this. And although this wasn't a favourite, I did mostly think it was a very good book. Do let me know in the comments if you read any Wiley Cash or if you are planning on picking up When Ghosts Come Home. And if you've enjoyed this video today, please do give it a like. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will hope very much to see you all again soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now.